Hi everyone, Chat here once again bringing you a new video. Last time you guys said that you can't wait to know more facts about the Norsaku family in their alternate universe, so I've decided to make that happen in a mini-series. The first episode will focus on none other than Naruto and Sakura themselves. So who are Naruto Uzumaki and Sakura Harno in their alternate universe? Or better said, how are they? Well, let's take a look over the general facts surrounding them and their family dynamics. For the Narsaku fandom, his fanon counterpart is not very different from his canon iteration except for a few changes such as 1. Although he is seen as fervent as ever to save Sasuke from darkness, Naruto acknowledges the wrongs done to Sasuke by the villages and justice for him becomes part of his end goal. 2. He does not grow to admire or thank Obito after the war crimes against humanity he is committed. And 3. He gets the opportunity to confess his feelings for Sakura shortly after the final battle against Sasuke. Likewise, Sakura is not very different either compared to her canon counterpart, with minor changes such as 1. Similarly to the canon plot, her feelings towards Sasuke become more and more clear, or better said, their nature. Her desire to save Sasuke comes not from romantic love, but from her kind heart and her genuine desire of trying to help him and Naruto. Canon Sakura knows that Naruto cannot be truly happy without Sasuke. However, fanon Sakura not only knows this, but acts upon it more from Frequently. Why this change? Because a. The reason the fandom agrees upon this view in regards to her feelings for Sasuke stems from the fact that Kishimoto himself admitted in a 2015 interview that he purposely avoided to write the reason for which Sakura started liking Sasuke. Not only that, but given the development that was shown in the manga, the general consensus is that this is the natural flow of events. And b. Because we consider that having feelings for someone else than your initial crush, or even love for that matter, doesn't make you a terrible person. Two. Another change is that Fan and Sakura more frequently acknowledges Ino's importance to her, since early canon drew parallels between Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura and Ino. And three, she is much more involved with the final fight. Many Narsaku fans do not consider much of the ending canon and prefer for her to have a more active role with her new power. Basically, what the fandom agrees upon is that we should have seen a reenactment of the Neo Senin deadlock fight. Naruto and Sakura's dynamics don't change too much, they mainly evolve from their initial canon counterpart. Naruto becomes more mature, as Sakura always envisioned him to be, while her gentleness becomes even more prominent than usually. However, at their core, they still remain the same people. Naruto still engages in pranks from time to time, falling prey to his daughter's antics because she's so much like him, and Sakura still scolds him and holds him accountable for his childlike adventures. Another thing that is commonly accepted is is that Naruto becomes a cheesy romantic partner after he finally unburdens himself and he confesses his love for Sakura and is being reciprocated. And while the cheesiness still embarrasses Sakura from time to time, she very much enjoys the romantic side of Naruto as she herself is a romantic person. Sasuke is an important person to both Naruto and Sakura, that is something undeniable. He was their common goal, the path they worked together towards. So after managing to bring Sasuke back, they treat him with the same care and love they've always had. Team 7 was like a family and they carried this into their adult lives. What does that mean though? It means that even if Sasuke isn't in Konoha anymore, they keep a separate room in their house especially for him. To have a place to lay down and call home whenever he comes back to Konoha from his travels. Remember how I told you in the previous Shina video that he steals the Tantos from Sasuke? That's how he does it, because Uncle Sasuke has his own room and, well, little kids are curious.
As parents, Naruto and Sakura are very supportive of their children. Despite their busy schedule, they always make time for their children and as such their home is a loving one, free of any internal drama. Minus the times when Hanami plays a prank but shh. In this alternate universe, Naruto is able to do his job as a Hokage and father by having clones work in his favor in such a way that he combines both successfully. One thing is for sure, Naruto and Sakura put their family above anything else as they have learned that that's the most important aspect to cherish. They recognize that because of the shinobi parents putting more focus on their careers as shinobis than their own families, the world became what it was in their era. War-torn countries, families torn apart, kids remaining orphans. Thus darkness overcame their times. For this reason alone, when Naruto and Sakura along with the others started to reform the system as a primary rule was that family comes first. Other than that, Naruto is the more permissive one of the parents, while Sakura is the stricter one, so to speak. Like always, they balance each other out. However, like mentioned earlier, they are big supporters of their children and when it comes to showing that, they're both extroverted. They openly show it and they don't have any problems on being vocal about it like they used to be in their teenage years, despite them growing to be more reserved as adults. So much that they don't mind costuming around and playing silly with their kids if necessary, because who else would make a perfect elf mom if not Sakura, right? As a symbol of their union, Naruto and Sakura have also joined together their clan symbols. It is supposed to mean that, of course, Naruto is more than welcomed in the Harno family as they get married. However, this idea of uniting the symbols stemmed from noticing how the two of them fit and come together in perfect harmony. Small shout out to my Narsaku symbolism series that I'm preparing to bring to YouTube one of these days as well. Not only that, but if you observe, the seal that Kurama was enclosed with, a upon opening looked like an Uzumaki swirl opening up towards the Harno symbol. Interesting fact to observe, right? So, by combining all those together, ever since then most artists draw the two having the Uzuharu symbol, like we like to call it, on their clothes. With this being said, here is where I stop with the general facts about the Narsaku family, more specifically with the episode that focuses on Naruto and Sakura. What you think? Learn something new and useful? Something you didn't know before? Let's talk Narsaku in the comments down below. However, with this being said, I thank you for watching this video and I invite you to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when the next video is posted. Other than that, all I can say is see you on the next one. Yes, let me know one thing, which one you'd like me to talk about next, Hanami or Arashi? See ya, for real this time.